As the developed world grows older and sicker and the developing nations get richer and fatter, demand for healthcare will only grow. Obama wants to bring 46 million uninsured Americans into his country's patchy health system, while in China a $120 billion scheme to expand health insurance for the country's poor has been announced. But reform on this scale is going to require innovation. European pharma companies have been dropping behind in terms of drug discovery. About a decade ago they accounted for about 70% of the new drug discoveries. Um, but now it's more like 30%. And one reason is that pharma companies have not been maintaining um, growth in R&D spending. In fact, now, as the recession kicks in, they're starting to cut spending even further. Europe's big drugs companies have held R&D spending steady at around 15% of revenue over the past decade. Compare that to American firms, whose spending has risen to 18%, and it's easy to see why they now hold the lion's share, 65%, of new drugs discoveries. But scientists at Aberystwyth University in Wales think they've developed something that should help put Europe back on the pharma map. So, Professor Adam, um, how does it feel to be experiencing such a huge amount of success with your work here? Of course, Adam isn't going to answer me because, well, Adam is in fact a computer. He's part of the robot scientist here at Aberystwyth University in Wales, and he's the first ever robot to independently discover new scientific knowledge. Developed to investigate the function of genes in a yeast cell, a substance commonly used in science as a model for human cells, this intelligent robot works around the clock for zero pay. Adam has a database of knowledge about yeast genetics and it has uh, a model of uh, metabolism in yeast and it's, this model is, uh, has bits missing so there's scientific knowledge which we don't understand. Uh, so Adam can, is capable of making hypotheses about what's missing, uh, thinking of experiments to test these hypotheses and actually physically doing the experiments using all this laboratory automation equipment it has to, available to it. It's the kind of repetitive but essential work normally undertaken by research technicians. But Adam can work faster, across more experiments and with much greater accuracy than his human counterparts. So with this 384 well plate, um, a human would take maybe one or two days to accurately fill with different experiments. And then it would take probably a period of two days to actually analyse the contents of these wells, either under a microscope or visibly. Um, so the robot can fill one of these plates in three minutes, far more accurately than I would ever be able to fill with, with just a standard pipette, with all my human error. Adam can carry out up to a thousand experiments a day. That's the work of dozens of people. There's still work to be done to maximise efficiency, but the current running costs for Adam are around $500 a day. That's in the same ballpark as two technicians. Their creators believe that robots like these will one day drastically reduce the cost of scientific research.